Hello and welcome back. Today we will start lecture 8-3 on discrete time systems analysis, sampling plants and zero order holds. The objective for today's lecture, lecture is that students should be able to use sampling plants with zero order holds to find a discrete time transfer function from a continuous time plant. Students should also be able to find the transfer function for a discrete time system. Most of the system plants controlled are continuous time and controlled by using a discrete time control. In order to model a continuous time plant as a discrete time plant, we use sampling with discrete time signals modeled as an impulse signal at some sample time t. The way to generate a continuous time signal as an input to a plant g p of s is to use zero order holds by holding an impulse value for a time interval. Figure one below shows a continuous time signal formed with a sampling and zero order hold as an input to a plant. And figure two shows a discrete time closed loop control system with a zero order hold and a continuous time plant. What you should see here in this figure is that at every interval of t, there is a zero order hold, which means it's basically a very broad rectangular shape or a zero order hold pulse to model the continuous time signal. And the form that we use for this is GP zero order hold of t is equal to u of t minus u of t minus nt because this is the way that we would make that pulse train. It's basically the difference between two step functions times the continuous time plant gp of t. Then when we take the Laplace transform of that equation, we get gp of s is equal to g zero order hold of s times gp of s or one over s minus e to the negative st over s times gp of s. That's because one over s minus e to the negative st over s is the Laplace transform of u of t minus a delayed step function. That can be rewritten as the quantity one minus e to the negative st times the plant divided by s, and we also have notation for that as one minus e to the negative st gi of s. Now we take the z transform of this s domain function, and we get gp of z equals the z transform of one over s minus e to the negative t over s over s gp of s, or one minus z to the negative one, which is a delay, which makes sense since we're doing a zero order hold, times the z transform of gp of s over s. And finally, here's our discrete time closed loop control system where the input is r of z and the output is y of z. We have a pre-filter in the front because sometimes we use a pre-filter to reduce the steady state error. And then it goes into the summer where the other side is our discrete time controller, GC of Z, but that feeds into a continuous time plant. So we now have that continuous time plant multiplied by our zero order hold in the S domain, which we then find the Z transform of to get GP of Z, our output Y of Z, and then our sensor or our feedback H of Z. In class activity one, for the following continuous time plant transfer function, what is the equivalent discrete time transfer function for the plant in series with a zero order hold? So the plant GP of S is equal to one over S plus one. So GP of Z would be equal to one minus Z inverse times the Z transform of GP of S over S or one minus Z inverse times the Z transform of one over S times s plus one. So recall that we also call this gi of s. So gi of s is one over s times s plus one, which equals one over s minus one over s plus one. So gi of t is equal to one minus e to the negative t u of t. So there's our time domain equivalent or we can also write that in discrete time as gi of nt, where we're sampling that continuous time system, and it becomes one minus e to the negative nt, u of nt. Now we can find the z transform of this time domain function, or we could have just immediately found the z transform of the original and not gone through the t first. So we could have found the z transform of the s domain. So here we get g i of z is equal to z over z minus one minus z over z minus e to the negative t 
which equals, when we collect like terms and get a common denominator, z times one minus e to the negative t over z minus one times z minus e to the negative t. So finally, gp of z is equal to z minus one over z. Notice that z minus one over z is another way of writing one minus z inverse times z times one minus e to the negative t over z minus one times z minus e to the negative t. We collect common terms and finally we get the answer one minus e to the negative t over z minus e to the negative t. In class activity two, for the following continu continuous time plant transfer function, what is the equivalent discrete time transfer function for the plant in series with a zero order hold? So GP of S is equal to one over S. So GP of Z is equal to one minus Z inverse times the Z transform of one over S squared or one minus Z inverse times the Z transform of gi of s. Recall that gi of s is equal to gp of s over s. So what we have here is that gi of t is the inverse Laplace transform of one over s squared, which is t, u of t. So in discrete time, gi of nt is equal to nt u of nt and gi of z, the z transform of that function is tz over z minus one squared and finally gp of z is z minus one over z times tz over z minus one squared. So gp of z is t over z minus one.